we're going to take a look at a weathering technique. We're going to look at doing paint chips. So what I've done is I've been working on natural metal finishes lately. So I took, I have a B17, a 148 scale B17. As you can see, I'm going to paint it like this. I'm going to paint it in the olive drab scheme, the camo scheme. And, and you might ask, why is the B17 over here all chromed in silver if you're painting it olive? Well, this is basically the undercoat. And when you look at weathering, especially chipping, that's what we're going to look at is paint chipping. You have to think about how it actually occurs on a real car or airplane or ship. There's a metal finish underneath that that's what the airplane's made of, aluminum. And then what they do is they prime the aluminum and paint it with whatever the color is. Well, like your car, if you get into an accident, obviously the paint gets scratched, the paint gets banged off, and what do you see? You see the metal underneath. So that's what we're going to try to do here. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you by painting the undercoat in aluminum how we put this chipping fluid on and then scratch off the paint after we put the paint on. So the process basically is there's I have different chipping fluids here. Vallejo makes a chipping medium. Uh, AKI makes a couple different things. They make a heavy chipping fluid and they make a worn effects fluid. I'm going to use this heavy chipping fluid. And what you do is you take the fluid and you spray it onto or brush it onto whichever you prefer a part of the model. Some people spray the whole model and then you take the color. In our case it'll be olive drab and we'll paint the model with the olive drab and then when that's dry we can go back and use a tool, like a pointy little Q-tip, uh, toothpick, something like that, a burnisher. And we'll just wet the area we want to chip and let it reactivate a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and we'll do some chipping. And you'll see the metal underneath the paint show through. And what's really cool is, even though it's small scale, when you have it done the way it occurs in reality, you get that depth. You, you can see that the aluminum's underneath of the paint. Trust me, it, it works and it looks really good. So we're going to look at chipping, in particular chipping this B-17's engine nacelle. And I do recommend that if you do this, look at pictures of the actual aircraft. I looked at pictures of B-17's just to see where it chips. And usually it chips around things that get a lot of wear and tear. Doors, hatches, things like that. In particular on the 17, the engine nacelles get worn because, hi Bo, because the mechanics are constantly taking panels off and doing work on them with tools, screwdrivers, wrenches, and the like. And you end up getting, you know, the, the screw heads basically chip off, edges around the panels that they take off. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint one of the engine nacelles. I'm going to paint it with the chipping fluid, then paint it with olive drab. And then we'll go back and do a little bit of chipping. So let's take a look at weathering, in particular chipping on a scale model. All right, the first step in the chipping process is to take the chipping fluid. Obviously, after you've painted your model with chrome finish, natural metal finishes are going to work better because they're going to look like real metal, stand out. So you take your fluid, get your airbrush, have some thinner ready for when you want to clean your airbrush. AK Thinner, AK Product. It's one of my mantras. If you're going to use a fluid, you're going to use a paint, get the thinner that's manufactured by the same company. That way you know it's going to work correctly. All right, so AKI chipping fluid. I'm going to open that up. Just pour some into my handy dandy airbrush here. I use a little Iwata gun today. Tap your fluid back. All right, we're ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this nacelle right here. Okay, we're putting a barrier between the chrome paint or the metal paint and the olive drab that's going to go over it. Okay, just like the real thing. So we'll turn on the metal. Hard to see. All right. See, 
seems a little heavy, so what I'm going to do is put a few drops of thinner in it. Just a little thinner. It's a little better. Nothing's on my hand. I'm gonna screw your finish up. Yeah, that's much better. Really awkward when you're doing big models in a small paint booth. As you see, I'm just painting the outboard in a cell. Get a decent even coat on the whole thing. Don't have to worry about perfection. Although it's good to have a smooth finish because you're going to paint over it. All right. So, I think I've got a good coat on there. I'm going to let that dry. And then the next step will be to put the olive drab paint, aka Real Colors is what we're going to use, olive drab. So that'll dry, we'll put the olive drab on. After that dries, then we'll do the chipping. Okay, the chipping fluid is on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take some AK Real Color, and I got my AK Real Color thinner. So make sure, um, I, I almost made a mistake. This acrylic thinner is for the chipping fluid, and it's different than the Real Color thinner. This is regular acrylic thinner from AK. This is for Real Color. This is for the paint. If you use the wrong thinner, it turns into sludge. So just a note of caution. If you're going to do Real Colors, get the Real Color thinner. So I'm going to mix that up. Put it in the airbrush and then we'll spray the wing. What I'm going to do is I, I went ahead and I put the chipping fluid on all the engine nacelles and some of the fueling ports. So what I'm going to do is spray one of the wings and then we'll do some chipping. Well, there you have it. We sprayed all the green on the P17. I got a little carried away. Um, I was just going to do a little part of it and chip, but I figured since I was spraying, I may as well go. It, it was going on so nice. Like I say, I used the AKI Real Colors. Um, I'll give you a look at this thing. Put my glasses on. Came out really nicely. It's drying, and so it's got a little sheen to it. But uh, yeah, that olive drab went on really nice. So we'll let this dry for a couple hours, then I'll come back to it. Hopefully no paint went under there. Uh, we'll come back to it and we'll do some chipping. That's how you chip. You put some dampness on there, you put a little water on there. Let it settle in a little bit. And then go in and do some chipping. Be 
you guys can see that. That came out. You see it inside the engine cowl. You can see what I did on the top and on the side. that's chipping it's an inexact science but if you do it right and you do it very subtly it's a really great weathering technique